President Donald Trump is set to add Nigerian six orders to a new list of countries on America's visa restriction, Wall Street Journal reports. According to report, Nigerians will not be barred from entering the country but will not be issued with certain types of visa. The Trump administration plans to roll out its expanded travel restrictions on Monday, marking the three-year anniversary of the initial travel ban Trump signed on his seventh day in office, sparking controversy at the beginning of his term. Unlike the initial travel ban list of 2017, most of the new countries don't have majority Muslim populations. Several of them, however, have had relatively higher rates of their citizens over state visas in the U.S., according to DHS data. Now, joining us live to discuss this visa restriction on Nigerian and other country is a legal practitioner, Evans Ufeli. Thank you very much, Evans, for joining us on News on the Hour. Now, let's get talking. What is your reaction to the visa restriction by, by the U.S. government? Well, the visa restriction is the policy of the U.S. government. Um, which is stemming out of the fact that Nigeria falls among the countries that overstays uh, their, their, their visa uh, duration, the time within which they are supposed to uh, stay. So I think that um, it is a policy of the United States and then uh, even though the type of visas that we're going to have this restriction on, on have not been mentioned, okay, I, I, because we have different kinds of visa. There's a, a visa for uh, vacation, there's a, a visa for schooling, there's a visa for, you know, uh, tourism and all that. So we don't actually know the type of visas that we're going to have this restriction on. But we were already on the list from 2017 when, uh, you know, Trump got, got yes. into office. So right. now there's an expansion that we're going to fall under some other categories. Yes. Uh, and I think that, well, why, why is not... Um, uh, a good news to be, you know, uh, we, we need to look at the conduct of Nigerians, okay, when they go out there. Because, I mean. Which is very critical. I was going to say that yes, also, yes. It, it's critical because uh, most Nigerians, or some Nigerians, when they get there, they, they don't keep by the rules, okay? A country issue a visa for a, a particular period. And after the expiration of the visa, you are still in the country. Sometimes you are nowhere to be found. So, I mean, it is is very bad. It paints a bad picture about the kind of citizens okay. that we. Now, 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 do you see this as a reaction? Also, some time ago, some some Shiite members did burn down the U.S. flag. Do, do you see this as reactional or just another U.S. policy? Well, you know, the the, the, the U.S. guard their their country jealously. They take their country very seriously and their citizens very seriously. And their emblems, their flag for whatever. Now, the reasons given is not because of uh, the Shiite uh, action in burning the flag. That's not the reason given. The reason given by the DHF is that uh, Nigerians fall among, uh, you know, uh, people who go to the U.S. and don't they overstay there. So I, I, I don't think uh, we should, or I should conclude that it's because of the flag, even though it's a bad thing. Yes. It's not, it's not encouraging for you to take another country's flag, flag. a sovereign state, just like to, to, to put it uh, in a way, the most powerful country in the world, and you set their flag ablaze in your own country. Yeah. And then you, even if this is not the reason, you, you don't expect the country to be happy with, for, with that action, especially when the government at home did not say much or said little or nothing about the action in terms of condemning it and all. All right, great. Now, according to the report, it's, it's obvious Nigerians will not be issued some certain kinds of visa. Do, do you expect the federal government to react to this or do you think they will react to this? The, the, the federal government should react to it because this is going to place restriction on certain categories of visa. I mean, how I wish that we fall under the category of medical tourism so that the politicians who have the money to go for medical tourism will not be allowed at all. I will be happy if that category is enforced. But now we don't have the list. It's going to be rolled out on Monday, okay, according to the news. Yes. Uh, uh, so until we see the list of the categories, Okay, we will not be able to say much on the issue, but how I wish that we, we, we have a restriction on medical tourism so that we can do something about our own uh, public health care system. Legal practitioner Evans Ufeli, thank you for staying with us on the news and for your contribution. Thank you.